Welcome back. This is Dave the Gamer coming at you part two on the TSM4 guide. Uh, this time we're going to dive a little bit more deeper into you know how to do some of the grouping, how to win bids and buyouts, like my strategy behind it. Uh, show you a little bit on the profession side. I have a whole video for the professions portion, how to post items and any other little tips and tricks I might know. And if you haven't seen my other video, I am doing a um, little $10 giveaway. I know it's not a uh, too crazy. So on uh, part one, if you post like a comment, like, and you have to be subscribed, I'm going to be giving away a $10 gift card for Amazon. I'll email it to you. So check that video out for more details than that. But let's get right on into this one. This one. So I want to go over, so with grouping, what I mean by grouping, is the TSM4 uh, add-on and a lot of these things like if you don't understand what I'm talking about that's what I'm saying go back to the first one to understand some of the basics this one's gonna be a little bit more into it I try to keep them a little bit shorter break them up so you guys don't get too bored on me um, but groups to uh, your groups here you can create groups by just hitting that little plus symbol and then I can modify like buy now so I do a lot of investing, like long-term investing, and I also track herbs. So depending on what you like to buy all the time, you create these little groups here. And, and once the groups are actually created, so any of the items that are in my inventory, I can select like this Ace of Portals and hit Add Items. And it now adds it to my group here. And I'll show you when we scan what I mean by that. So I come in, this is everything that's going to be in your inventory. But say you want to track some items that you don't already own and they're pretty expensive. So really, say like an Arcanite bar, you don't have the gold for it now, but you're hoping that some some idiot or whatever posts it on there super cheap and you pick it up because it happens all the time. So what you do is you go to import and export. So you can find that these are called strings and you can find these long strings online with every single herb and everything like already pre-built and you copy and paste it. That's great and all, but there's a lot of stuff that you might not want. I build my own strings with the exact items I want. So just to give you an example, what I mean by a string, you hit I, I don't know what that symbol is called. I call it dot dot. Um, 13517 and where I got that number at. So I'll put a little text thing in here. But if you Google, that's Flask of the Supreme Power. So if you Google Flask Supreme Power, you click on the wow head link. Up in the top URL, it'll be like www flask and it'll have a, a five a four or five digit number. That number is the item number that you need. And like I said, I'll put a little description there on that. But um, so if you want to do multiple items, so I could do there, comma, I12360, which is Arcanite bar. So I select what group I want it to go to. So buy now, import. See, it shows my two items that I have now, and I would confirm. So now I'm going to add those items into that little group. And I've already done, like if I go to my groups, these are all the herbs that I track daily basis, multiple times a day. This is all the items I'm investing in. And this is all the twink items. So I, I haven't been buying as many twink items. So you, like if you ever want to remove an item, you can select multiple and just hit remove. Uh, I, did it, I did invest a lot into twink items at one point. It's still not a bad market to track every once in a while. I probably should thin this list out. But I didn't buy all these items. What I did is I Googled best twink items for level 19, 29, 39, and then each single class, wrote them all down, Googled them, it took me like an hour, and then I got those little, uh, their IDs, the item IDs, and I entered them all in. So now I can just one click and check all of those I know best items for those twinks. So it, you could do some pretty cool things uh, with this portion. So when I, I'm going to show you, I'm going to go into the auction house and show you what that actually looks like. So you can select, deselect, whatever you want to look at, depending on what it is. So let's, let's do herbs as an example. 
So now I have all my items in the group up here. So you create all the groups in the actual icon. And then when you go to the auction house, this is your clean little interface. I can always hit switch to switch back and then TSM4 to come back to it. But why I like this, I usually select herbs and invest in, but I'll just do herbs for now because it's a little bit shorter uh, scan time. So you see it's scanning my 17 items I have in my group. And what I love, I mean, there's so many things I love about this add-on. Um, but one part of it is if you ever use like Aux or I don't know if Aux updated since the last time I used it, but even the regular add-on, say Sungrass. If someone posted 39 of one Sungrass, it would take up the first 10 pages. Like look how clean this is. All 17 items here. And I start looking at the percentages. So same as i mentioned in my previous part one you want to do a double or a triple check so i hover over the item i look to see what its minimum buyout and market so really market value is 30 silver still a good deal so i'll still buy these but you gotta watch that because it's going off minimum buyout what that percentage is so it's looking like a really good deal when it's you know it's a decent deal so i check that i check there and then if I wanted to buy a bunch of these, I could hit this little drop down and it will show all of them that are on the market. And then when you select it, you hit buy out or if you wanted to bid. So either depending on what you're trying to do. Um, so it's really nice. I just come in three, four times a day and I'll just hit run. And basically I'm looking for anything that's like green or blue because then it's like at least 75% off or 80% off. And then I do my triple check to see if it truly is a good deal. Like this fade leaf is a pretty good deal. So I'd buy them up and you like, look how fast I can, you know, there's a, there's seven different ones. Boom. Like it, it just speeds up so much time. Let's see going into, well, actually while I'm in here, I want to show you how to post an item. So say I wanted to post these elixirs of greater so I could hold shift, click the item and it will automatically put the, the thing in there. And then I want to undercut so you can modify it by the cheapest buyout, which it's always set to. And I want to click on the cheapest one because I want to undercut the entire market. And I'm going to hit post. When you hit post, depending on the potion value, so like if I was posting, say, these shadow greater protection potions, they're six gold a piece. Typically, someone's probably only going to buy one or two or one, maybe two at a time. So I would only post one at a time. With these, people are gonna buy bulk. They're gonna buy you know six, seven at a time. So I like to go three stacks of two. The reason I do that is if you just put, like I see a lot of people in here, I don't know if there's any examples. No, okay, seven of one, that's still not bad. Um, I'll see some people that'll be like 35 posts of one. Like first off, I'm undercutting you. So now that 39 posts you spent, like I'm spending seven silver to post this. That guy probably spent a gold and now he's not gonna sell any of them. So I do small increments because you don't wanna waste your deposit price. And then since it is a cheaper one gold potion, someone will buy two because it's only two gold. So, and then you could pick how long the uh, duration is. One thing you do got to be careful is when it is undercutting the person, it's undercutting their bid and their buyout. So you're number one to show up uh, on the add-on. So if someone put one copper here, you got to be careful because I snipe people like that. I always modify the price. Like if it, if it was one copper, I'd come in and just be like one gold just to be safe. So server shutting down. What We're going to have to wrap this one up here shortly. So post automatically breaks it into the multiple pieces and puts it in there. Super simple. Uh, one of the things I also want to go over is professions. Like I said, I made a whole video on this, but just to kind of give you an idea while it's already here, all of your professions, your, I mean, your main ones where you make money, your tailoring, alchemy, blacksmithing, stuff like that. You see how clean this interface, you could switch back here, but the, how clean the interface is. And I see based off of so before I, I'm, I'm going to come in here and look to see to make money, I would do the TSM scan because this profit is basing it off of what it's selling for and how much the mats cost. So it, for all professions, it just makes this super simple. 
And that's really all I wanted to go over. Basically, the grouping is a massive part. When you're able to come in here and just one click, that's awesome. Um, two buttons actually now looking at them that I forgot to mention to you guys is the vendor search and disenchant search. So the vendor search, it's looking at the market on, uh, and when these, these multiple buttons at the bottom here, they only look at, I believe the first 10 most recent pages and it's constantly updating, but it's looking if you can buy something for less than what it can actually vendor for. So I could buy this thing right now for two, uh, two silver, 42 copper, and I could, you know, vendor it for eight copper more. So a lot of these usually aren't worth it. So I don't waste my time. The disenchant, you can find some nice stuff in here. So it's looking for what you, uh, the buyout is based off what it actually disenchants for. Obviously with disenchanting, it's a percentage of what, uh, actual mat you get. So if you did something 10 times, yes, it will be a profit. But if you do it once, there's a chance you might get the crappy portion of it. But right now looking at this one, I would take this gamble. I buy it for a gold and 20 silver and I have a chance when a vendor or disenchants that I'm almost getting two gold. So I come in here and I'll buy up, you know, buy this one, buy this one. And like, you don't want to waste too much time doing this but i mean if you do a quick scan like oh i can make a gold almost two gold on that one you know like this is the speed i go like i'm, I'm constantly looking at how much is distance chain value how much is the buyout boom nothing done i'm out of here so you don't want to waste too much time but it is nice to check every once in a while like i said i usually do my shopping scan and then i quickly check this the great deal search I went over in part one, uh, that's if you pay into them. Like I said, watch that one. But to kind of keep this one a little bit short, that's all I'm gonna go over for this one. I am gonna make a part three, probably in like a week or two after I see everybody's comments, kind of what you wanna learn. You can get into some crazy stuff as far as like auto posting and it mailing stuff. And there's so much into this thing, but Really, part one, part two, you could download this add uh, this add-on right now and start making profits. Final note, so because I wanted to tell you how I personally, I don't, I don't even like to share this because everybody's going to be competing versus me, but it is what it is. So how I win bids and buyouts. So, well, bids. So I would come in. So let's do my my herbs again as an example. So I'm gonna come here and there's two ways I, I, I win a ton of bids every day. And this is exactly how I do it. So first, once this loads, I'm going to hit the bid button and it's gonna filter the cheapest bids here on the market. The one thing you gotta keep in mind is like, okay, one copper, four copper. The chance of you winning that is pointless. Like there's 24 hours left and everybody's gonna wanna bid on that. So that's a no-brainer one. What I'm looking for is stuff that is eight hours or less because those are the ones that you're gonna have a greater chance of actually winning the item. But you gotta do a triple check. So, okay, eight hours, great. Is the bid less than the buyout by a lot? And eh, not so much on that one. And then if it was, I would then check the percentage. So hopefully I could see one here. And you know, like this with everything else, you don't wanna waste too much time here. This would be a perfect one, 85 copper. I'd like to pick this up because that's you know, that's a fairly decent deal. Eight hours, I'll probably win that one. So I always buy stuff at a great discount because I win these bids. So then the second portion is you hit the little time. Now these, 30 minutes to two hours, very high chance that when you bid, you're going to win it. But is it worth it? So you gotta, you don't wanna get caught up in it too much, so you just gotta be careful. So two hours, is there anything? I'm looking for stuff like this one, here we go. It's one gold, it's not much of a deal, no good. And I basically, I'll check 30 minutes down to eight hours and that's it. I won't go, anything 24 hours, it's pointless, you're wasting your time bidding, you're go, someone else is going to bid in that time. I personally like to stay 30 minutes to two hours when I'm doing it, but I win so many bids that way. But I hope this video was beneficial to you. Like I said, please leave some comments, let me know, you know what else you wanna learn about the TSM4 add-on, maybe if you have any troubles with the downloading or whatever. 
And like I said, check out part one if you are a subscriber and want to subscribe and get a chance to win the $10 gift card. I know it's not much. Pretty broke. I'm just trying to celebrate me getting 100 subscribers. Uh, but until then, guys, have a great day.